Hey guys, Super Mario Kart 64, welcome back to more Warrior World. Um, I finally found where everything I was missing was. I found like this whole other area up here. It was behind one of those Faddington things. And there's another switch up here, and I am missing some gold statue pieces too. Here's one, like here's one right now, and then there's also this other secret one. Oh, and here's another treasure, which is the uh, glass decanter. Is that how you say it? So anyway, now I know it was like right behind uh, the Faddington over here. But I'm still missing one treasure. I honestly don't know where that one is. I'm not sure what color it is. It might be purple. No, it's pink. I think. Hey, that rhymed. Yeah, I think it's the pink one. Uh, I'll look around and see if that's the one that I'm missing. Oh my god, how many times am I gonna go to Unithorn's Lair on this, uh, level? Seriously. Gone, like, so many times. It's ridiculous. Alright, I'm almost done. Come on, gotta find it. God, this level's been a nightmare. I'm sure, um, Uni- um... Bean way will go a lot better. I actually really like that level. I really like, I think that level is my favorite boss. It has a really cool boss battle. And I love how I got out of there while they were grabbing me. So I gotta get that, uh... I really have to get that, uh... What am I trying to say? Uh, last gold statue piece. And I hit the switch. I don't actually know where the pink treasure is. I missed it again, really? It's okay, I gotta figure out where the pink treasure- Oh, here's the pink treasure. Okay guys, so I have all the statu- So now I'm just missing two gold statue pieces, which I know where both of them are. And then- and I have all the treasure. Uh, there's one I have to show. I'm, I'm actually pretty confused on how you get it. Oh, here we go. This is how you get it. I was kind of confused on how you get that one. See in that little hole over there. I'm not sure if I went in the cr on these trees yet. These ones look different. Hey, that was close. I know usually I have the second video like just for the boss battle, but I was a little confused um, this time, and I need to find everything. No! Uh, now I gotta go all the way back. No, it's okay. I guess I can just talk while I'm on my way. So, yeah, um, Warrior World is kinda close to over. We just gotta do this. Bean Sock Way, and then we have the last world. Um, unlike Banjo Kazooie, which is so I didn't complete that project because of the last part, um, Warrior World has a very easy final boss. Obviously, it's the Black Jewel. But yeah, I just think the final boss in that game is super easy. I I've never had trouble with it. It's pretty easy. Well, I've only tried it once, and I did it on my first try. And plus, even if you screw up, like, you can just revive yourself in the battle. Like, always, so... Like, really, there can won't be a hard boss. I have to admit, um... The main boss of Thrillsville is pretty hard. I I actually think that um, the Thrillsville and Sparkle and main bosses are actually harder than the Black Jewel, the final boss, which is a ridiculous final boss. It's like it's a Black Jewel with like an one eyeball and tentacles. It's a really stupid looking final boss. It can it, yeah, it's not really hard. As long as you have money to revive yourself too, you'll beat it. So it's there really can't be a hard battle in this game just because of that. Like if you couldn't just like revive yourself whenever you wanted, this game would actually be pretty challenging because it's pretty hard to get hurt or easy to get hurt. There's a lot of enemies in this game. Alright, I gotta get this gold statue this time. And then there's just one left to get. I'll probably just cut off out. Uh, when I'm on my way to the boss battle. Whoops. Oh. 
Yeah, this is a pretty cool final boss, or final boss, boss in this world. Gotta get it this time, I'm so sick of missing this gold statue piece. It's like, didn't they think that, like, it's, I hate, like, in levels when you have to, like, go on a slide of some sort to get, so they finally got that. Now there's just one of those left and one crystal left. So I'll probably just, I'll just cut out until I get there. Finally. Are you kidding me? Don't worry, I'm just gonna cut all this out anyway. Okay, finally I made it. Oh, he froze me. Not falling off. Finally made it. It was a nightmare to get here. Alright, let's do this. This was way too hard. Okay, I'm still missing some crystals though, and it looks like I'm missing one gold statue piece actually. Oh no, I have all the crystals. I think I have everything actually. No, no, I, I'm missing one gold statue piece. All right, so I'm probably just gonna get that off camera. It really doesn't matter. This level has been a nightmare. I mean, I'm sure you guys really don't, honestly, don't care if I show the last gold statue piece. I'll get that on my own time. Just this level has been too hard. I'll find it later. You know, whatever. This level has been a nightmare. Oh my god. And of course, when I like am kind of on a tight schedule, it's taking this long. So I will figure out where that gold statue piece is on my own time. So let's just get to that boss, finally. Oh my god, I am so angry. Like, you don't even know how much I would be, like, yelling if I wasn't recording. Like, I would be screaming. And now this is actually going to be my first video that I actually cut things out. I've never actually done that before. But uh, this video, it was obviously necessary to do so. This has just been really a difficult level. Seriously though, where could that last gold statue piece be? The weird part is though, is that it looks like Wario is fully put together. Oh wait, never mind, he doesn't have a nose. Yeah, he's definitely not fully put together. And now I gotta go all the way back and figure out where it is. Which I actually don't even have an idea of where it is. I have no clue. And I can't believe I fell like twice trying to get into that uh, other level. The one on top of the chimney. But we can finally fight the boss now. God, uh, this level, this is definitely my least favorite level in the game. Uh, Beanstalk Way is better. That's so unfair, why the slide put me in here? That's not fair. Whatever, let's just get this over with. This is, I feel like this is like Cliff Clock Wood from Banjo-Kazooie all over again. Where I keep screwing up and embarrassing myself. But, let's take on the boss now, it's a, pretty much over with, just, I really wish I had that last gold statue piece, but, whatever. Okay, out of here, now we can fight the boss. Just let me put the rest of these in. And what's over here? Nothing important, alright, let's go in. Okay, so the sprite link said not to look into its eyes when they're red. This is a really weird boss, and you gotta like throw rocks in him, I think. It's like a giant head. There are weird bosses in this game. The and these are like every almost like every character in this game. Every boss in this game, it's like this is the only game they appear in. I think we gotta get them hot first. Oh yeah, we gotta get him to get hurt by the magma. 
<laughs> now I get it. Kinda looks like Miss Dravis, only with a less cute face. Yeah, so we gotta get him to get hurt by the fire. Alright, I got him once. Oh, now I gotta throw him off the cliff, too. Probably gonna have a game over, but whatever, I can just use money. Alright, so this isn't too bad. This could take a little while, though. Alright, gonna get wait for him to get near me. Oh, a rock already automatically fell into the- Alright, don't look into his eyes. When they're red. Which I did, and now he possessed me. What the heck? That's so weird. Uh, I should have took that Spritewing's advice. I tried to, though. Oh, I hate when they do that in boss battles, when they gotta- they make, like, things that you gotta jump over. Oh, and of course he was weak, but I had a game over. I love how he's, like, still moving around while I'm dead. Taking this raw. Come on! Oh, I guess I can just damage him while he's on ground sometimes, too. Alright, just three more times. He wasn't close enough, of course. Got him, got him. Just twice more now. What is this boss's name, I wonder? I'll probably look it up and just put it in the video this uh, title. Now it can shoot stuff from upside down. Should have known it would have moved out of the way. Alright, look out of the way. With its red eyes. Alright, good. It didn't work that time. Oh, I thought he was gonna come over here. That is really hard to avoid. Got ya! Got ya off guard. And it has legs, too, so it just has a tiny body and a giant head. Another way it's not like Mistravis, because Mistravis doesn't have legs or arms. Nice try. Oh, I was gonna grab that rock. I hate when he gets confused. See, I could have just gotten him right there. But I Wario had to get confused. Mario can never get confused. At least you don't hurt yourself in confusion like a Pokemon. Got you that time, and looks like we are done with Shivering Mountains minus that gold statue piece that I have to go get off camera. And this is going to be my first time actually editing because I'm going to cut that stuff out that I said I would in the video. Which you guys wouldn't have noticed. Alright, so that's it for Shivering Mountains. Thank God I will find the statue piece. I'll go back. Um, it's probably, like, in a ra completely random place, so it's probably gonna take me a while to find it. And next time, we are going to do Beanstalk Way, a much better level. <laughs> okay, guys, so that's it for Wario World before I go on my trip, so hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.